Hello YouTube's Krosama, and here I have the high grade build custom diver ace unit. Uh, now this is essentially like a, an add-on set for uh, the double O build diver. Um, overall, I think uh, this set is really going to enhance the overall quality uh, and aesthetics of the, uh, the double O build diver. Um, I, I do like it as, as it is. However, I, I do feel that it was missing something. Um, and we already kind of like seen this, I think in the, even in the promotional uh, pitches before the anime even release. Uh, I'm sure that we already seen uh, all these little add-on sets, if I'm, if, I'm not, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I'm just really super excited to go ahead and uh, build this and just essentially show you uh, what the add-on set is going to look like. So this was actually released in May 2018, so anyone who's watching in like 2019 or 2038, uh, yeah, this came out in 2018. And then looking on the side, it does retail for 700 yen. Uh, so that's, I think that's a relatively good price uh, for what you're getting. And then this is the side, you know, kind of like imagery of everything you will be getting. And it's going to show just kind of a description, uh, description of what, you know, these little weapons are all about. And looking on the side over here, uh, essentially just gives you some poses and kind of just description of each weapon and uh, the backpack and everything. And then it could show that, hey, you can also use these weapons and attachments on other Gunpla. That's kind of like the whole niche of the, uh, the whole Bill Fighters kind of series. And here's everything that's gonna come in the package. And first we're gonna take a look at Runner A1. This is, uh, looks like it's mostly gonna be the backpack. Um, I think this is all just gonna be the uh, backpack uh, attachments. And that looks like it's gonna be about it for this runner. All right, next we're gonna have runner A2. Uh, so these are gonna be all the parts. Looks like it's gonna be the GN condensers right here, and it's gonna be all the parts uh, for the GN sword. And here you get two runner Bs, uh, which are gonna be uh, this is gonna be knee part, the the kneecap parts right here. Uh, these are just some extra little attachments, and then this should be uh, the enhancement parts uh, for the GN blades. Okay, and here's everything assembled from the kit. Um, basically you're going to have the Super GN Sword 2 which attaches to the GN Sword. Uh, then you're going to have the GN Diver Swords uh, which are the really big uh, white swords over here. And then you're going to have the uh, little condensers, you got the little knee parts, and then the backpack over there. So uh, let's go ahead and start adding these parts on one by one uh, onto the actual mobile suit. Okay and the first thing we're going to do is just take off these uh, GN Drives. And then you're just gonna go ahead and attach the little smaller ones. These little, I'm pretty sure these are like little condensers. Um, but these are just gonna go ahead and plug into there, like so. And overall, they do look pretty good. Um, obviously, they're they're really flat, so that's kind of odd. But you're really gonna just you're you're pretty much gonna hide them once you put the uh, the G and Diver swords uh, on top of them. All right, next is going to be the knees. Uh, so what we want to do is just take off these little kneecap parts like that. Oops, and then the backpack's just going to come off. So put that back on, and then you're going to go ahead and take these. Oops, you're going to take these and connect those right here on the knees like so. So I think overall, uh, these are a lot better, mainly because they add a lot more color uh, to the overall kit because you know having plain white legs just, uh, at least to me, didn't really look all that good. But these look pretty decent. Okay, next, attaching the backpack is pretty easy. Uh, you're gonna have two little pegs right there and then you can just go ahead and uh, plug those into those thrusters. And like so, you now have uh, the backpack attachment. Um, definitely not as good as the uh, the riser. I mean, the riser was just essentially the cockpit uh, that came out like that, but you know what? I, I still think this is uh, pretty cool for what it is, especially when the gimmick, uh, when the little like wings kind of pop out. Okay, and the next thing you want to do is uh, take off the blade, for the, uh, the GM blade, and you're really just gonna attach that right there. Uh, it's not really gonna be anything uh, gimmicky. It's just now you're you're really just gonna have this kind of extension, uh, which looks really good. I mean, it's a little bit more wide uh, right here in the you know base uh, blade part. Now it kind of just it looks to me it looks weird as a blade, uh, vice this one. This one um, just looked more like a blade. This kind of looks more. I don't know, just a little more odd. Uh, but hey, if it works, it works. 
Okay, and the last accessories that you're gonna have are going to be the GN Diver Blades. Uh, now all you need to do, well, I'll just kind of make a little brief description. Um, I went ahead and painted this silver uh, just because I thought the blade would look a little bit better with some uh, some silver lining. And then the, uh, the green is just basically a translucent uh, green, which looks pretty cool. Uh, but this is essentially going to plug in uh, to here, so like so. You're gonna plug it into this little top piece, and then bam, now you get one. And you're gonna plug this one right into the top right there. So I think that looks pretty good. You know, it's, it's, it's not really too bad in all honesty. Now there is another gimmick. Um, essentially you can plug these little parts, uh, the little GM blades, you can plug these right into there. So if you're gonna use the swords, um, and I guess you don't really want to use the GM blades um, Then you can just go ahead and store these right there, uh, which I mean they look okay But I, I, I just I like the way the GN diver blades uh, look I, I don't know why maybe I'm just kind of used to it uh, plus. I don't really care for the exposed um, GN drive right there. I think it looks kind of funky, but hey, that's kind of is what it is Okay, and this thing also has a gimmick with the backpack. Uh, so this is just gonna kind of rotate out a little bit. It's on this little, um, kind of like a hinge joint. So you're gonna kind of wiggle it and kind of just maneuver it to where this part comes out uh, just a little bit. And then these are gonna be on ball joints. So just gotta move some things out of the way. And then you basically open that uh, panel up and probably just using some kind of other piece, uh, flip this little part up like so and you're just gonna go ahead and do uh, the same thing with this side and then get this little panel up like that and bam now you kind of have like this uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, the the build strike uh, full package um, but overall like I, I don't think it looks it really doesn't look that bad to be honest Okay, so before I really get into my final thoughts and everything, uh, I just want to go ahead and show you that there are a couple of pieces. Uh, you actually get two of these blue connecting points and then one of this uh, of this gray one. And what they allow you to do is essentially connect that backpack into these two like prongs uh, right here, and then you can connect this to any kind of um, any kind of kit that has a single peg in the backpack. And then this one, uh, if you want to connect it to something that has uh, dual pegs. But, you know, I'm, I'm not pretty much into that. I like to keep it all um, kind of like in its respective uh, universe, even though it's kind of like more of a uh, kit bash universe. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm preferably trying to keep it that way. So uh, the overall aesthetics of this kit, I think looks fantastic. This really, really adds to uh, the overall kit. I, I just think the swords, uh, mixed with the backpack and the kind of extension on um, like those GN drive uh, sh like shoulder uh, parts. I, I think that all looks so so good and uh, this is something that th the, I think the double O diver truly needed uh, to kind of just have a, a bigger edge uh, with all the other high grade lineups. And also for the low price of about like seven bucks, um, I really do think uh, this is a worthy add-on uh, to the Double O Diver. Uh, the Double, Double O Diver being about ten dollars, uh, maybe even less if you if you could find it, uh, you know, fairly cheap, maybe out, out of your local hobby store or online or sales or whatever. Uh, but roughly about like ten to twelve dollars, you'll find this kit, uh, and then the add-on set being about like maybe seven or uh, eight dollars or so. Um, I, I think that spending about 18 bucks for all that you're seeing right now is completely worth it. Um, I think it has great shelf presence, and that's kind of like the key here. It is is going to be the shelf presence, uh, articulation, the posability, uh, color separation. You know that the details, all that plays a big factor, and I think all of it just hits the nail on the head. And, I, and this. The thing that kind of irritates me, and I'm, 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 I'm apologizing right now if I offend you, but the thing that like really kind of irks me is that people complain about the double diver having that red sticker over the, the, the clear green part. It took me probably less than like a minute to, to paint mine clear red. Like, I, I just, I don't understand where the disconnect comes from with a, you know, not being able to paint small details. Now I get it. If it was like a like a lot of crazy part separation, like 
if all those all these parts the backpack the swords the weapons if all of it was one solid color I can understand the gripe because a lot of people and, and sometimes include myself doesn't want to put so much effort into a kit that we that you may not truly like you you you, you enjoy the presence of it but you really don't want to put in a max effort to make a kit presentable that you truly don't care that much about so this kit in particular I think it, even if all those parts were like completely white or gray or whatever I probably would have still painted it you know I, I would have painted the whole entire kit at that point um, but luckily the uh, color separation on this thing is beautiful uh, I don't think there's anything on this kit that from the anime is different uh, as far as the colors so to me this this looks pretty pretty good for what you're getting out of the box all right guys and to essentially wrap up my entire review for these add-on parts um, I, like I mentioned before if you have the double o diver um, I do I do urge you to get these because before I, I built and put all these parts on uh, the kit and I just kind of like looked at the promotional pictures I really did think like uh, like it doesn't look that amazing like it looks kind of like eh. but after like the combination of seeing it in the anime and seeing uh, pretty much it in person and building it I'm like this is fantastic and a part of me really does want to do an entire full uh, paint job now I'll probably just go ahead and buy a whole new kit because uh, I, I just don't want to go ahead and dismantle this one I'd rather maybe like donate this one to someone and then just buy a new one to uh, to paint uh, but overall I think I think maybe in the future um, depending on where the where the series goes I can definitely see myself buying another one of these and then painting it uh, Trans Am colors that's kind of like been my uh, my overall thought process um, but overall guys, that's it. Uh, definitely thanks for watching, uh, especially if you uh, stuck around this long. Um, definitely expect more, uh, you know, essentially these little build custom parts. Because uh, I'm not, I didn't get the changeling rifle because, uh, you know, that already came with the, uh, the Beam Master. But I will be getting that tilt rotor. That's going to be coming out, I think, at the end of this month. Um, so I'll be buying that and I will, I will definitely review it. So uh, that's it for me, guys. Definitely thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And then just stay tuned for future reviews, especially for that F91 2.0, baby. The unboxing is going to be on Friday, and hopefully I can get that thing reviewed uh, by Sunday for y'all. But uh, that's it for me. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.